Happy Friday, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich with a look at your forecast. We've got some clouds out there, a few showers this morning, and these will lead to more storms, I think, this afternoon, though it's not a total washout. That's the thing about the forecast for the next couple of days. You're not looking at any one of these days where we're going to be completely socked in with clouds and showers. Today, probably the worst looking day right now because we've got plenty of clouds moving in from the south. You can see we've got a lot of moisture down here. This is all streaming up in this direction. Cold front from the northwest, which is going to arrive later today. As I zoom in, you'll see across the uh, Charlotte area and across most of South Carolina, we do have some light showers moving in across the area. And these showers will continue to track in. And they'll be light in nature, nothing heavy. What I'm really keeping an eye on is if we see some sun break out for a little bit after this first wave moves through, what this second line is going to do. Because that's actually a little bit stronger front and the potential we could see maybe some strong, maybe even some, I wouldn't say super severe, but some of the storms could be a little stronger um, as that moves in. I'm going to show you real quickly um, the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today. Um, we are in what's considered basically, um, let me turn this on, we got the wrong, we've got tornado probability, I want categories here. You can see the, the green is the marginal risk or the lowest threat basically across western North Carolina all the way back into Alabama and that slight risk to the north. So this is an area we'll watch for some stronger storms to develop later this afternoon. When we look at the short range models, you can see that this first batch of rain moving off to the south, uh, really not a lot showing up here, but look at what's developing back in Kentucky and Tennessee um, as this line moves in. And you see the front real clearly showing up here right there. And this is going into the afternoon. This is right around 7 o'clock tonight. So we'll go to 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Um, some pretty strong storms. And I think it's really going to be these that'll be the strong, the severe. These just look like regular old rain showers. So we'll keep an eye on it as we go into the overnight hours. The front moves through the area. And by the time we wake up Saturday morning, things are actually improving quite a bit. And overall, Saturday looks really, really good right now. Saturday should clear out pretty nicely. But what you don't see here is that old front that just came through is stalled somewhere right in here and it starts backing up to the north on Sunday so Saturday's fine you can see a couple showers try to develop in South Carolina along that so Saturday I'm gonna have to keep a 20 percent chance of rain in but on Sunday there are signs that the front starts moving back north and you can see showers starting to break out and creep up close to Charlotte now one thing looks pretty good if you live north of Interstate 40 or along Probably overall, the weekend looks great. It's really around Charlotte South that we're going to have to watch Saturday or Saturday night into Sunday morning, excuse me. Um, and this is going into Sunday morning at about 8 a.m. And look at the clouds and showers streaming back into the region. So pretty good chance we're likely going to see uh, some rain start to redevelop on Sunday. So out there today right now, I'll turn this on one more time so you can see it. We've got some showers moving in. Just be ready for a passing shower today if you're going to Fan Fest. Say hi to me. I'll be out there tonight. Have an umbrella or poncho ready to go. I'll see you today at 4, 5, and 6 on NBC Charlotte.